Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I pack for a five-day trip to Los Angeles using carry-on only and sort of a semi-minimalist approach. So when I travel, I don't like to check my luggage because A, it's something that you're risking losing and B, it's just more of a headache, something you have to pay for, something you have to carry, something you have to look for at the carousel, just something I don't like to do. So whenever possible, I do like to travel as light as I can and go minimally. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the items that I bring with me from clothes clothing to toiletries to makeup to shoes, how I choose everything I bring with me and how I pack it so that it all fits into minimal luggage. So if you guys are interested, then stay tuned. Also, if you guys are new here, I would love if you would consider subscribing on this channel. We usually do talk about perfume, but we also do a little bit of home decor, minimalism, decluttering, and I would love to have you guys here with my little family. And with that out of the way, let's get started in today's video. All right, guys. So welcome back. Today, I thought I would take you guys with me to do a little bit of packing for a trip that I'm going to be going on for five days to Los Angeles, which for me is amazing. I absolutely love LA. It's so beautiful. There's so much luxury shopping and I just love the palm trees. I love the beaches. I love the overall vibe. Um, I'm going to be going to the Lucky Scent Scent Bar and smelling all of the niche perfumes that they have there. And I'm super, super excited. Um, and I thought I would just take you guys with me and show you my thought process in regards to packing. What am I going to be bringing with me? How do I decide what outfits I'm going to bring with me? Carry on only. So sort of like a semi-minimalist type of packing and also which perfumes did I decide to bring with me for my vacay perfumes? What makeup am I going to bring? How do I decide what makeup to bring with me? All of that kind of stuff. And yeah, I just thought it would be kind of a fun little video. I love watching pack with me videos. I love seeing what people are bringing with them on vacation. And also maybe I can share with you guys some tips and tricks in terms of fitting everything in in your luggage. So I have everything sitting out on my dresser. I kind of roughly started packing yesterday and I got about, I would say halfway to three quarters done. I'm still not hundred percent sure about everything. The shoe choices are rudimentary. Um, I also have to pick out probably another dress or daytime outfit and then a going out dress, which is actually going to be the hardest part because I have a ton of beautiful going out dresses and I don't go out enough so they don't get worn. So yeah, I feel like I have my work cut out for me in terms of choosing what dress I'm going to wear if we go out for like a night out out. And also if we go out for just like a nice dinner to a nice restaurant or steakhouse or something like that. So this is the carry on suitcase that I use. I've had this forever. It is by a brand called Samsonite. It's nothing too fancy or too flashy, but it's a very good quality suitcase and it comes with a warranty. So if a wheel breaks or a zipper breaks or anything like that, I get this completely replaced free of charge. So I really like it. It has served me very well over the years. I have used it so many times um, going on vacation. It's just like a really great little suitcase. Okay, so getting into some of the staples that I'm bringing with me, obviously some nipple covers, which always come in handy, one nude colored underwire bra, which will go with any of the tops that I'm bringing, some underwear, obviously, which are a necessity, one pair of no-show socks if I wear my kids for the day, our passports, of course, and I hold on to my boyfriend's because he's a man, and let's face it, men like to lose things, my spa headband that I use when I wash my face at night, as well as a little claw clip to hold my hair up, we have a detangling comb for when I shampoo and wash my hair, my regular hairbrush that I always use, and my regular comb that I always use as well. And of course, we can't forget my toothbrush. Next, I have a very soft sort of collapsible container that I found at Walmart for about $12, and this is what I'm going to use to hold all of my liquids for going through security at the airport. So of course, you're only allowed one liter of liquids in total. This does hold more than a liter, but I don't fill it right full to the brim, and I like that it's also see-through, so it's the perfect container to put your liquids in for going through security. The first liquid that I'm bringing with me is shampoo and conditioner, and this is actually just little samples I got from Sephora when I ordered something like perfume. I really like keeping these little sample shampoo and conditioners because they're the perfect size to bring with you for your carry-on. Next, I'm bringing some SPF to use on my decolletage, my hands, my arms, and whatever other part of my body is going to be exposed to the sun, I have a different one for my face. This is contact solution, obviously, which is an essential. Next, I have my sunscreen for my face, which is the Copper Tone Pure and Simple for Face SPF 50. I really love this sunscreen. It's one of my favorite go-tos and it's the perfect size for travel. I'm also gonna be bringing some dry shampoo from Batiste. I try to wash my hair as few times as possible when I'm on vacation. 
Next is my day cream and this is the Pharmacy Honey Halo Moisturizer which I've raved about in other videos. Absolutely love it so this is coming with me for sure. Next is my body lotion which you guys know if you watch my channel is a mix between the Coco Cabana cream and the Boom Boom cream. I just keep refilling this container so this container is pretty banged up and looking worse for wear but that's because I've used it over and over every time I go on vacation. Absolutely love this lotion. The combination and the scent together is a man killer. Next is my cleanser and this is the CeraVe Cream to Foam Hydrating Skin Cleanser for normal to dry skin which I absolutely love. Then I have some leave-in product for my hair for when I do wash it. It's just like some heat protectant and some oils. Next I have my oil makeup remover. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Oil Cleanser for Fate which I am absolutely obsessed with and I just keep refilling this container as well. Next we have some hairspray. Not too picky, I just like something that is strong hold and a small size to fit in my carry-on. Next we have some body wash and this is, I believe, Irish Spring. Super fancy, I know. <laughs> Next, I have a couple of very important items. I can't tell you how much these have come in handy, even though they're nothing special. Basically, it's just a pair of cushions for the ball of your foot for in your shoes, in case your shoes become uncomfortable, and also a whole ton of band-aids. I don't know what it is, you guys, but every time I go on vacation, I always end up getting blisters and like sores on my feet. Even if I wear comfortable shoes, it doesn't seem to matter. I always just end up doing so much walking on vacation, and even if they're a simple pair of flat sandals, I will end up with tons of blisters so I've learned to put band-aids on my feet in areas that I'm prone to get blisters especially the ones that help protect against blisters or treat blisters in general and I literally bring a ton of them because I will go through these like crazy if we're doing a lot of walking on our trips and I can't think of a single trip that I have gone on where I didn't come back and my feet looked absolutely butchered from walking long distances it's just how it goes so band-aids for me are a must Next I have a smaller clear toiletry container and this just holds some extra odds and ends that I'm obviously going to need and just want to have them all together in one easy to grab place. So the first thing is obviously some hair ties and Invisibobble and some bobby pins. Goes without saying those always come in handy. The next thing is my retainers because I did have Invisalign and I need to wear these every single night. The next thing are some little flossers to floss in between my teeth. Next we have just some normal floss and one of those little flossing sticks to help you get in between hard to reach places. Next we have some Tylenol cold and flu for daytime. I can't tell you how many times I've ended up with a cold when I was on vacation so these could come in handy. Next we have my deodorant which is a little mini of the Dove Men Care Clean Comfort 48 hour protection deodorant. It's my favorite deodorant. It works better than most women's that I've used. Next we have a contact case which is obvious. I need a contact case. <laughs> I also brought a razor because I usually do have to shave at least once while I'm gone on my trip. And lastly, I have a little container full of some medication that we might need. So this is actually an Advil container, but I don't actually keep Advil in here at all. I keep it full of Benadryl, Tylenol, and melatonin. The melatonin is just in case we need help sleeping. The Benadryl is in case one of us gets an allergic reaction to something. And the Tylenol is for headaches or what have you. So these are some staples I always keep with me when I'm traveling. And that's everything for my little toiletry slash emergency kit. For jewelry, I'll be bringing this cute little bracelet that I actually found on Amazon. It is a Van Cleef & Arpels dupe. The little clovers, I think it's so cute. And I'm also going to be bringing two rings from Ana Luisa. I don't usually use a lot of jewelry or a lot of rings, but these are really beautiful gold-plated pieces. This video is not sponsored, by the way. You guys know if you watch my channel that I really love their rings. And they're just very simple and minimalistic and go with pretty much every outfit. So two rings should do me for my entire vacation. Next we have a pair of sneakers. These are actually going to be my airplane sneaker as well as a casual sneaker and a sneaker I can wear to the gym. So they do three things in one and these are the Keds Triple Kick, I believe is what they're called, um, sneaker in just the canvas material. These are actually my second pair. I have another pair and I've worn them so much and love them so much, um, but they do tend to get dirty. It's really hard to keep the white canvas perfectly clean, so I have two pairs and these are now a new staple and a new must have for me when I travel. I'm also going to be bringing with me my straightening iron as well as my curling iron, which might seem a little bit excessive to some people bringing both, but I'll talk more about that later. Now to decide on some flat sandals. So I'm choosing between these two pairs from Chinese Laundry that are like an Hermes dupe as well as my Sam Edelman flat sandals, which I also really love, and my Chloe slides. I couldn't make up my mind initially, but I'm definitely going to be going with one of these two pairs because they're the most comfortable and I can wear them for literally hours without hurting my feet. So it's going to be between the tan and the white pair of Chinese laundry slides. 
Next, I have my going out pair of shoes, which is going to be also my most uncomfortable pair of high heels. These are my Louboutin shoes. I have worn the heck out of these, but only on vacation. They are very painful and they're not made to wear for a long period of time, but they just make me feel so incredible when I wear them. They're super sexy. They go with every outfit. They're just the most amazing shoes in the world. You guys, they were such a good investment. They've held up so well over time. And I just decided because I'm going to LA, why not wear a pair of Louboutins? Next, I needed a pair of cute sort of daytime shoes that were elegant and cute and stylish, but also not super uncomfortable or too high or would give me crazy blisters. So I decided to go with this pair of Chanel slingback dupes that I found from a place called, I think, Bella Shoes. They were like $100. They're made of real leather and they're very, very comfortable and super elegant and go with pretty much everything in my wardrobe. Next, I have to pick a perfume to take with me on vacation. So sometimes what I do is I just spray everything in my luggage with the perfume. That way I don't actually have to physically pack the perfume, but I'm really not sure what I wanna do and I still haven't decided what perfume I want to make my vacation perfume. Right now, I'm currently kind of trying to choose between Tiziana Trenzi Talea and Tiziana Trenzi's Orza. All right, so trying to figure out what dress I wanna bring with me is honestly the hardest part because sometimes we go away on vacation, we don't even end up going out anywhere fancy or any place where I would need like a cocktail dress or a going out dress. And other times we go out numerous times. But what I've noticed is that I have a lot of going out dresses and don't often have opportunities to wear them, which makes it really difficult when it comes time to pick a dress because it might be the only time I go out out for a while to come. So these are the four that I think I would want to wear the most. Um, the ones on the right here, this one is from Zara and it's a beautiful kind of a champagne colored like bustier corset style kind of dress um, with a bit of a like a sweetheart neckline and then it has like a tulip bottom and it's satiny, very very pretty and very very cute and really flatters my physique and I really like it. The other one behind it is a dress that is actually from Meshki US, I believe. It's a beautiful golden yellow color and it's just absolutely stunning. Again, it's in like this satiny silky material. It has like unlined cups and a little bit of lace detail going over the top, a little bit of an underwire detail spaghetti straps, um, a little bit of a lace design on the bottom. I feel like a million bucks when I wear it. Honestly, that one is a pretty good contender for the one that I might bring just because the Zara dress doesn't fit me quite as well as the yellow one. I might bring two dresses just because they don't take up a lot of room and that way I have some options. And then the other two that I have here to choose from, this one is actually from, I think, Zaffel or Shein. It's super, super inexpensive, but it's actually such a nice looking dress when I have it on. It's such a beautiful dress. And another one that's just kind of like fun and flirty and I've just never had a chance to wear it. This one's actually from Lulu's. I still have the tag on it because I've never worn it before. Yeah, so I'm honestly at odds, you guys. I do not know which dress to bring with me. This one's nice, but it's a little bit finicky because it doesn't fit super close around the bust. I might have to actually like do my hair later and try them on and decide which one I feel best in. The worst thing is when you're getting ready to go out and you put on the dress that you brought and you're just not feeling it and then you don't feel good and you don't feel sexy and you don't feel like it's just not your best day. You know what I mean? I'm very much about like the mood that I'm in the day that I choose my dress. Yeah, so those are my four dress options. As I'm filming right now, I still don't know which one, but I really think honestly for sure the yellow because I just love that yellow one. It's so beautiful. I'll see if I can insert a photo of me wearing that one. I'll see if I can find a photo of me wearing this one too. They're just, they're all so cute, you guys. I also need to decide what um, tote bag I'm gonna bring with me and what like day bag I'm gonna bring with me. So, Obviously all of my shoulder bags and my tote bags are up here. So I have three tote bags that I like to bring with me if I go on vacation. I have my Goyard tote, oops, my Goyard tote is in the back. I have my Louis Vuitton Neverfulls in the Demier Azure and the Monogram. And all three of those are great travel bags because they're very spacious, they hold a lot. Um, you can keep your liquids in them for like when you have to pull your liquids out when you go through security. And you can keep a spare pair of shoes in there. You can keep like everything in there. You know what I mean? Your makeup can even go in there. Um, they're just so spacious and they're so practical. So I always bring a tote bag with me when I go on vacation as my 
purse, but then I also bring within that purse a smaller day bag. This is the handbag that I've brought with me that I've used probably the most when I've been on vacation. I've used it so many times. It just goes with every single outfit. You can also transition it to an evening bag if you need to. This is the medium size. And yeah, this is such a good one because it literally goes with everything that I have in my suitcase. Um, and it's just like a very practical, chic, effortless kind of look. So this is one that I am considering. Another one that I'm considering is my Celine, but the only problem with the Celine bag is this one it looks best as a crossbody and I don't always feel like doing the crossbody thing. I have my trendy CC in the back, but it's a little bit big for most of my outfits and probably won't go with all of my outfits either. Um, the Jacquemus bag is probably going to be a little bit too small. It's such a cute evening bag though. I have brought my Jacquemus bag with me um, on at least one trip before and it was the perfect little like evening bag slash going out bag. And this is still one of my favorite handbags you guys. It's one of the least expensive in my collection and it's one of my most used. I absolutely love it. And as you can see it literally goes with every outfit like it goes with every night out dress it goes with all of my daytime outfits it's just such a cute versatile bag and another day bag that i've used is this one so this is actually a Bottega Veneta um, dupe bag. It's a dupe for, I think, like the pouch bag. I'm not sure what it's called. I absolutely love it. I got it from Amazon. It comes with a gold chain and also a leather strap, a small minimal leather strap. It's amazing because as you can see again, it's the perfect night out bag. It goes with all of my outfits. It's perfectly neutral. It's the most beautiful shade of like this buttery butterscotch toffee color. And it also goes with all of my daytime outfits. So this is also a great choice for a neutral daytime bag. The the other bag that I was thinking to bring with me, although it's a little bit on the heavier side, is my Dionysus. Um, but as much as I kind of want to bring it, it is a bit of a heavier bag. And yeah, I don't know how practical or comfortable I'm going to feel with it. Um, I think it would go with pretty much all of my outfits. It's a very neutral color and I love it. It's absolutely such a stunning such a stunning bag and I actually haven't worn it since I got it so I've been looking for a reason to wear it. I don't know though for bringing with me on vacation if that's going to be a very good one because it is kind of heavy but those are the options that I've been playing with is my Chanel Classic Flap, my uh, Bottega Veneta Dupe or my Dionysus. Not sure which day bag and not sure which tote. I really need to make a decision because I'm going to spend all day thinking about it and it really doesn't have to be this big of a decision. <laughs> I don't know why it's so difficult. Tell me if you guys struggle as much as I do deciding what a bag to bring with you on vacation. The other pair of shoes that I wanna bring with me but I don't know how practical it's gonna be and I can always switch into flats once I get into the car but I kinda of wanna bring them um, just for like going out for a nice brunch or a nice meal or something during the day um, is this pair of high heel strappy sandals from Sam Edelman. And I have worn these shoes like ridiculous amount as you can see you guys. I have worn the heck out of these shoes mostly on vacation because they are so practical they're fairly comfortable and they go really cute with like a nice day dress. I was thinking to bring them either with or in place of that pair of shoes there just because I don't know like they're both really nice but they're different vibes. One of them is more sunny summer like warm weather and it's going to be super warm when we're there. It's going to be almost 30 degrees. I definitely want to be dressed for the weather. Um, either is good but those ones are more for like if I'm going shopping and going to be spending the day walking around a little bit more. These ones I wouldn't want to walk around in them too much but they're super cute and they're really classy and they just go with all of my nice daytime outfits. So I don't know I'm kind of tempted to I'm, I'm kind of contemplating either bringing both or bringing these ones in place of those ones. Tell me what you guys would do. Honestly, they both have a heel. Um, it's just that these ones are a little bit more uncomfortable around the toes if you wear them for a long period of time. But like I said, I can always keep a pair of flat sandals with me in the car and switch out to the sandals if I absolutely need to. I know my boyfriend always gives me such a hard time. He's like, why do you bring shoes that hurt your feet? I don't, I'm like, I don't know <laughs> because I'm a woman, because I like hurting my feet, because I don't know, you tell me, <laughs> please tell me I'm not the only person who wears shoes that hurt my feet. It's just the way it is. Um, but the good thing is that all of the shoes that I'm bringing with me are interchangeable with each other. Like I can wear any of my outfits with my Keds sneakers. I can wear any of them with my heels. So they're all interchangeable and they would all look really nice together. I just wish I could bring my entire shoe wardrobe with me on vacation. That would just be the best. These ones down here are also an option to bring with me. I actually have never worn them. They're my Dolce Vita um, braided I guess, what do you call them? Like block heel sandals. And they're honestly like the best shoe. They're so comfortable and you feel like you could walk around in them all day. 
they're just not super minimalistic. Um, yeah, they're kind of chunky. I really like them though, and I haven't had a chance to wear them. I did wear my gold ones last time I went on vacation. I brought those. I think the second last time I went on vacation, second last time I brought my gold, um, my gold Dolce Vita ones, but haven't had a chance to wear my, um, ivory ones. And those ones would be a great kind of versatile one to wear with any of my outfits because it would go with everything. Decisions, decisions, you guys. I honestly might have to just do my hair after and try on all of my outfits and just make my decision that way what pair of shoes is going to pair best with every outfit because I feel like I'm just such a high heel girl like I just love wearing like a skinny heel that's just my vibe you know what I mean um these are really nice but it's going to be hot out I guess it doesn't matter I don't know it's why is it so difficult to choose what pair of shoes I'm going to bring with me. This is always the hardest part. It's always easy to choose like my going out shoe. That's always really easy. And my travel slash airplane slash gym slash sneaker. That's always easy. But what I'm going to wear day to day, walking around, going for brunch, going shopping. Um, that's always the hard part. Yeah. That's always the hard part. Plus I need a sandal. I haven't even chosen a, a flat sandal yet. So, but I'm going to do my best to share with you basically what I've chosen to bring with me. The first clothing staple that I'm bringing is a white bodysuit from Aritzia. This is honestly the greatest bodysuit ever, you guys. It's so versatile. It looks great under jeans, under shorts, under skirts. It's very classy, and because it's white, it's just effortless. It goes with everything. You don't have to think too hard, and I actually have started bringing this with me on every single vacation, and it never disappoints. It's such a great piece. I'm also going to be bringing just a plain long sleeve white t-shirt. This one is cotton and this one is from Everlane. I actually love this t-shirt so much that I have two of them. Again, this is just another nice option. It's a slightly more casual fabric than the Aritzia bodysuit. And this one also looks great under shorts and skirts. Because it's going to be warm there and I want something nice to wear to brunch and breakfast, I decided to bring this beautiful white linen dress that I also got from Aritzia. Apparently I really like shopping at Aritzia. This has kind of a sweetheart neckline and just some really skinny little straps. It's very fitted and this is a midi dress and it's just absolutely beautiful, effortless, elegant again. Goes great with everything. Because it's a neutral color, I can wear any shoes or bag with it and it's going to look lovely. I'm also going to be bringing my favorite skirt from Wilfred, which is also from Aritzia in this white color. And this is a pleated, I think this is a maxi skirt, midi or maxi skirt. It's just very effortless, very chic, and again, goes with everything and looks really beautiful with the bodysuit or long sleeve t-shirt paired underneath. Super effortless and it looks very expensive at the same time. Next, I'm going to be bringing this beautiful, long, sort of fitted, cap sleeve, ivory colored dress that I also just got from Wilfred. I guess this whole video could be an Aritzia advertisement because most of everything I'm bringing is actually from Aritzia. They just have some beautiful pieces. Anyway, this also has a slit going down the side of the leg. This one hits me at the ankle, and it's a very elegant, chic looking dress. I think when you go with basic silhouettes that fit you and flatter you, and when you go with white or cream, you just come across looking really expensive no matter what. This this dress is brand new. It's still available at Aritzia, so I will link it down below for you guys if you want to check it out. Honestly, it is such an amazing dress. I love it. Next, I'm going to be bringing this beautiful satin kind of vibrant emerald green dress, which is also from Aritzia. I haven't had a chance to wear this one yet. This has a little bit of a thigh slit and it hits at about the mid calf. It's just a really nice pop of color and everything I'm bringing you'll probably notice is neutral, but just in case I want something that's a little bit more vibrant or a little bit more like pop of color, then this is something I will probably grab for it. And I'm also thinking to bring the champagne colored sort of mini satin skirt, which is also from Aritzia. Um, I wore this on my last vacation and it was just such a lovely little skirt that can also be dressed up or dressed down. So this one might make its way into my suitcase as well, just so I have some options. The bag I chose for day-to-day -day wear is my Chanel classic flap. It just goes with everything and it's just such a no-brainer, effortless bag. And I needed a clutch or something to bring out with me for the evening for when we go out for dinner. So I decided to go with this beautiful little pearl beaded clutch that I actually got from Lulu's. So inexpensive, you guys. It was like $35. I've had it for quite a while and I just love the scalloped edge detail. It's a very basic um, kind of a clutch that also has a gold strap. So you can wear this over the shoulder if you like, or you can tuck the strap away and just wear it as a clutch. And it's just adorable. And you would not believe how many dresses this goes with. It literally goes with every single dress I have in my wardrobe. 
The dresses I decided to finally go with were my golden yellow one from Meshki US. I tried everything on and this one just really struck a chord with me. I love it. I feel so good in it. And I also decided to bring this champagne satin dress from Zara which also fits me like a charm and is really really adorable. Next up we have to tackle my brushes and my makeup and decide which of those items are going to come with me and honestly I probably could use a little bit of a makeup declutter anyways. All right, so my makeup bag needed a good clean out anyways, you guys. Um, I do have a pair of lashes in here, and I kind of wanted to go to the drugstore today and see if I could find another pair of lashes that I might like better than these ones, but I have a pair of lashes and some lash glue. I think it's always a good idea to have lashes and lash glue just in case you do end up wanting to wear them. I have a beauty blender that I don't usually use. I prefer my brushes, although this is really nice for travel, but yeah, I don't use my beauty blender very much. I have a hair tie and some bobby pins in here which can probably come out. I think that's it for hair products. I have a couple of sunscreens. This is the SPF 40 um, Unseen Sunscreen from Supergoop. I don't think I'm gonna bring this because I prefer my other sunscreens. I'm actually just gonna put this to the side. My cat always has to be a part of things. She just loves, she's eyeing up my elastic band there. That's what she wants. <laughs> I also have this SkinCeuticals SPF 50 uh, Physical Fusion UV, UV Defense. I actually have been wanting to try this. I thought that I might bring it with me on vacation. It is a little bit tinted, but I'm not really used to using it, and I don't like trying new products for the first time on vacation, because if you don't like it, you're kind of stuck with it. This is what I'm working with for makeup that I can decide if I want to bring or leave. I have a couple of eyeshadows. I have a couple of bronzers. I have a couple of highlighters, some blushes, and a couple of foundations, and I have to decide and mascaras, of course, and I have to decide what I want to bring and what I don't want to bring. So definitely one of the things I'm 100% going to bring right off the hop that I can see is my Hourglass Finishing Powder. This is the, um, what is it called? This is the Diffused Light Ambient Lighting Powder. I can get away with wearing just sunscreen and this finishing powder. I don't even have to put foundation on if I have this finishing powder that's how good it is it literally it provides like just a slight amount of coverage like barely any coverage um, but it just kind of blurs everything and makes everything look perfect and I just love it so if you guys are looking for a good finishing powder I definitely recommend the hourglass um, diffused light so that is gonna come for sure um, I also need a foundation and the foundations that I have right now are the Fenty Fenty Beauty foundation this is in the shade 110 and this is actually a cool shade i've still been kind of like toying around trying to figure out what my undertone is and this one is actually pretty good for me it's just almost a smidgen too light so i do blend it i do mix it in with my other foundation but for this trip i want to be super minimal i don't want to bring more than i have to so this is going to stay here for now so i'll just put that to the side and the foundation that i will bring with me is my Elizabeth Arden Flawless Finish Skin Caring Foundation um, in the shade 110N. So this is a neutral and this is actually a really good color for me and I absolutely love it. So this is going to come with us for sure. Okay, we do need a mascara now. I have a couple mascaras. Um, I have the Lash Paradise, which comes with a mascara as well as a primer. Um, and then I have two left. I have the Maybelline The Falsies and I have the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational. I actually really like this um, Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. This is really phenomenal. Makes my lashes look beautiful. Um, I feel like it does make them look longer. So I, I think I'm actually gonna bring this one. I really do like the Maybelline The Falsies, but I think I'm just going to leave that here for the future. I've been using this one now for a couple months and I really like it, but I think we're going to go with the, the Sky High whatever. So this one I'm just going to put to the side for now. Why I have five different mascaras, don't ask. All right, so when it comes to highlighters, I have three highlighters. Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter in the shade Pink Diamond. This is a stick highlighter. And it is in this beautiful kind of like shimmery, champagne-y color. It's a cream highlighter. Um, and this is really beautiful. I actually really like it. So that one is a good contender. It's also really small. And the other end has a brush, which I don't really use. I also have the Becca highlighter, Becca Cosmetics. And this is in the shade Pearl. This is really, really light. As you can see, it's a super light like very, very shimmery, but it doesn't have any glitter or anything like that in it. It's just like a shimmery, very light highlighter. 
And I do really like this one. I've had it for a while. I've been using it. I enjoy it. Um, yeah, that one's pretty good. And then I also have the Dior highlighter and this is in the shade. This is the Dior Forever Couture Luminizer in the shade Pearlescent Glow. So that's what that one looks like. And this is also a very light, illuminating, illuminating highlighter. However, this one does feel a little kind of glittery to me. It's almost like a little disco ball and it has a very cool um, kind of undertone to it. There's almost like bluish, like kind of bluish flecks or something in there. Not my favorite. I like it because honestly, the packaging is so cute. But if I could go back and do it again, I'd probably pick one shade darker. I'd probably get like the champagne-y one. We're gonna leave that one here. So which of these two do I want to bring? So for highlighter, you guys, I think I'm going to go with my new Anastasia one just because the color is so pretty and I haven't really had a lot of opportunity to wear it yet. And it also has like a nice kind of a rosy glow to it. I think that'll be really nice. I'm just going to bring in that one, I believe. Um, okay. For contour, I have the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster Contour. I actually use just the middle shade there. I don't use the bronzing or the highlight. The highlight is actually too light for me. Let me show you what it looks like. So the highlight color is actually too yellow for me. It's not a very good highlight for me and the bronzer on the bottom is too red and doesn't look good with my skin tone but the one in the middle is chef's kiss in terms of like contouring and also a little bit of bronzing I really really like that one um, so I really like the middle one in terms of contour but I also really like the Fenty matchstick in the shade amber this is like a very neutral kind of a um, cool toned brown and it's amazing for contouring especially around the nose and the sides of the face um, it's also a little bit smaller than that one so I have to decide and also my makeup bag is huge I have to think like what what makeup bag do I want to bring this one's fine though because it kind of goes flat which I like you can kind of squish it down but do I want to bring the Fenty Beauty matchstick or do I want to bring the Physicians Formula bronze booster which one do i want to bring honestly you guys the one that's easiest for me to work with is probably the bronze booster i'm gonna go with the bronze booster i actually really like the look of the finish of this one next i have a dior lip balm i actually don't use this very often i'm just gonna leave it i prefer my good old spf um blistex lip balm that's what i usually have on my lips i usually don't go for a very bold lip and i just don't really need to bring this so that will stay there in terms of eyebrows i only have one eyebrow product and that is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color dark brown. So I will bring that one with me. For concealer, I only have one concealer. This is by Ilia and this is in the shade Molo. And it is a pretty bang on close like match for my skin tone. I really like it. So I will bring that for concealer. For eyeshadow, I have two eyeshadow palettes. I have one from Chanel, one from Dior. I did have the Too Faced Natural Eyes, but I gave that one to my mom because the palette was actually quite big and bulky. And I just didn't use all of the colors. And my mom saw it and absolutely loved it and she asked where she could get it and I looked on the Sephora website and they were all sold out I don't think they're getting it back so I just gifted it to my mom even though I really liked it um so the one that I have here from Dior is the um eyeshadow palette the um, five Color Couture in the shades Tutu. And this one is a really beautiful, like neutral, purpley, gray palette. And it's really, really pretty. And then the Chanel that I have is the palette Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette in medium. And that's what the Chanel one looks like. So it's a little bit more like neutral kind of um, brown colors. And this one I find gives me a really natural looking finish and I actually really like it. So I think I'm going to bring with me the Chanel palette and I will leave the Dior one here at home. And then for blushes, I have three different blushes. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the color Love Glow. This one is from Hourglass and this is in the color Sublime, no. Yeah, Sublime Finish. And this one is from NARS and this is in the color or the shade Deep Throat. So those are the three blushes that I have and this one from Charlotte Tilbury is definitely a little bit more kind of nudey, neutral, like peachy. Nudey, neutral, peachy, very, very pretty. This one from NARS is a really beautiful, um, like corally, kind of a shimmery pink. It's a really nice neutral pink and it's absolutely stunning on the skin. It's very heavily pigmented. This is probably the most heavily pigmented blush out of all the blushes that I have. And then the Hourglass one is kind of a nice neutral. You can see that there's some coral in there, but there's also some like nice neutral, cooler toned pink in there. 
and together they're just absolutely stunning. This is a really, really beautiful blush. I actually like these two blushes better than the Charlotte Tilbury. I think for this trip, you guys, let's just do the Hourglass. The Hourglass is just amazing. I love the formula. I love the color. It's a very pretty, like peachy toned, neutral, perfect perfect blush so let's go with that one so that's it you guys those are all of the makeup products that i'm going to be bringing with me very minimal honestly i could probably do a makeup declutter and literally just declutter all that stuff and keep all this this is probably all i would need <laughs> maybe one of these days i'm gonna have to do a makeup declutter the brushes i decided to bring is this fluffy brush for finishing powder also my foundation brush my highlighting brush a few brushes for eyeshadow including a blending brush and my blush and bronzer brush, which I use for both things, as well as a little contour brush, which is actually from Rare Beauty, and I absolutely love it for contouring, especially around the nose. And that about does it for my makeup brushes. A couple of other clothing items I forgot to mention is a basic pair of socks. I never like to have bare feet, so these are gonna be just to wear around the Airbnb. I'm also gonna be bringing a cozy pair of shorts from Victoria's Secret Pink, just for something to bum around in the house and not be too cold when we're just chilling at home. I'm also gonna be bringing my airplane outfit, which doubles as a casual like sightseeing outfit, which doubles as a gym outfit. So this is just a pair of leggings from Aritzia with a matching bra and a white t-shirt. Actually, all of this stuff is from Aritzia. This is crazy. I think even the socks are from Aritzia. Anyways, this is just like a lilac purple pair of leggings and bra, and it's in the butter, the TNA butter fabric, which is my favorite fabric from Aritzia. And then just a basic t-shirt. This one's actually from the Hudson's Bay from Eileen Fisher. Just a very basic, no nonsense crew neck long sleeve tee that will be perfect to wear on the airplane and I can also wear it for just bumming around the house. All right, you guys, so that is pretty much everything. So it looked like a lot as I was going through it and it looked like a lot on my dresser. And then of course I couldn't decide what outfits I wanted to bring with me. So it looked like it was gonna end up being a ton of stuff, but I ended up narrowing it down to a few key items. This outfit is sitting aside because this is my airplane outfit slash gym outfit slash if I need something super comfortable and casual and I'm tired of wearing heels and I just wanna bum around, we wanna go grab something to eat late at night, whatever and I just have to throw something on to leave the house. That's what that outfit is great for. I used it last time I went to Vegas. It was perfect. So the tote bag that I ended up choosing to be my like personal item is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I was gonna go with my Goyard, but I feel like it is spring slash summer. It's gonna be warm weather. I wanted something a little bit lighter colored, and also the Louis Vuitton Neverfull holds just a little bit more than my Goyard tote does. Also, as you guys can see, I don't know if you've noticed a theme, but everything with the exception of the one green skirt, which is just my little pop of color, everything is neutral and everything matches. Therefore, I can literally mix and match any outfit with any pair of shoes with any handbag. One thing that I wouldn't mind doing is putting my makeup in a smaller makeup bag. This one is pretty big for what I'm bringing with me, but it also flattens out really nicely, so I think it'll fit in my suitcase just fine. The two handbags that I ended up going with were my Chanel Classic Flap and my little flat clutch, which is from Lulu which is perfect because because it is so flat it will fit really nicely into my suitcase there's my jewelry here's my liquids my little kind of emergency items slash other toiletries my two hair care items I know a lot of people are gonna say you could have been more minimalistic and just brought a straightener instead of a straightener and a curling iron but I just don't like the way the curls look with the straightener as much as with the curling iron. And if I do wanna go with a nice curly look, I will need my curling iron. In terms of the perfumes, you guys, I'm kind of like at odds. Do I wanna actually bring both of them or do I just wanna do what I did last time, which was spray my clothing with the perfume before I leave? That way I don't have to bring these two items with me because these are actually kind of heavy. And also when I'm there, I plan to buy a perfume. So I'm still not 100% sure about if I'm gonna bring those or, if I should just spray a couple of my outfits with perfume before I leave, it's just kind of easier that way and it's one less liquid item I have to bring with me. Another item I forgot to mention that always comes that I always make sure that I have is my phone charger. So these were the four pair of shoes I decided to go with and I know it seems a little bit crazy, especially for only going for five days and especially for only going carry on. This isn't super minimalistic, but I'm sure that the ladies out there will understand you can't wear the same pair of shoes for every single thing. You want a casual daytime pair of shoes that is super comfy and flat. You want like a cute daytime pair of shoes. So I have my flat, really comfy daytime shoes 
these my kind of cuter like low heel shoes and then I have my kids sneakers which again are going to be my airplane shoes the ones I wear on the plane as well as the ones I wear to the gym that's what I love about these ones is they double as a great gym shoe so I don't have to worry about bringing a pair of sneakers with me or anything like that I'm not going to be doing cardio I'll just be doing weight training these wouldn't be a very good cardio shoe but they'll be a really good weight training shoe and then I have my going out shoe my shoe that I'm going to wear when we go out for a nice dinner I have my really really high really really uncomfortable high heels so those are the four pairs of shoes I decided to go with keep in mind I don't have to actually pack these ones because these ones are going to be with my airplane outfit so actually I'm just going to take them and put them over here so that's what I'm physically going to be putting on in the morning so I don't actually have to pack those shoes which is super smart as well so actually the only three pairs of shoes that I have to pack are these three and these ones are completely flat and will be very, very easy to pack. Then we have all of the outfits I brought with me, which consists of two shirts, three skirts, and two dresses. So even though we're only gonna be there for four days, and technically this gives me options for one, two, three, four, five outfits, I like to have lots of options when I'm there, you guys, because I can't tell you how many times I've gone on vacation and I've brought with me like, three or four dresses that I thought were going to be perfect and then I woke up that morning and I did not feel like wearing one of the dresses that I brought or I didn't feel like wearing one of the outfits and I was kind of stuck wearing the same thing a couple days in a row which isn't the end of the world. Um, I just really like to have options. I don't ever like to be stuck with only one option of something to wear. Plus you never know what the weather is going to be like and the mood you're going to be in where you might find yourself. All of these items I have more than enough to give me lots of options for daytime, gym, sightseeing, going out at night I have all of my bases covered now some people are probably going to mention in terms of like airplane regulations or airline regulations technically you're allowed a carry-on and a personal item so that bag there would be my personal item or the tote bag not both you're not really allowed two personal items however because it's just me and my boyfriend and he doesn't bring a personal item he just brings his um, carry-on luggage so between the two of us we have four pieces which is two pieces each which still fits under the airline regulation i have actually made it on the plane before you guys without having to bring this with me ideally everything would fit in the small suitcase and just my shoulder tote that is the ideal i'm trying to think last time i went did i even have i don't even think i brought in fact i don't even think i brought this with me now that i think about it i think everything fit in that suitcase and my tote so i might actually try to do that here i'm pretty sure that's what i did i do not think I do not think that I brought that pink bag with me last time I went. But yeah, if I had to, then between my boyfriend and myself, everything would work. I actually don't think I will have to do that. I think everything will fit in my little carry-on and my tote. All right, guys, so update. I was able to fit everything that I'm bringing into this suitcase and my tote bag. Um, so I still would have my day bag with me, like my Chanel bag. I would still have that out with me as like my purse, but that I can also stick in here and put underneath the seat in front of me on the plane for takeoff. So technically this is one item because this fits in there just fine. So that right there essentially is my personal item. So I did not have to use this overnight bag. Everything that I'm bringing with me amazingly somehow fits into this suitcase, which is amazing. And then inside my tote bag, I have my phone charger, the passports, my jewelry, my little um, Ziploc bag with the band-aids, just in case I need them for some reason. So all of that kind of stuff is in here. I also put in here my little holographic bag of liquids because when you go through security they always ask you to take your liquids out and put them on the thing so this way it's for easy access so i've got that there i've got my phone charger and i also have my little container of like advil and stuff like that just because why not make use of this huge bag there's plenty of room i probably even could have put a pair of shoes in here or something if i really wanted to but i managed to make it all fit in here and on this trip i am not planning to do a whole bunch of shopping i will probably get a perfume that's really about it. I'm not planning to purchase clothing or shoes or anything like that. I mostly just want to go and enjoy, have nice food, do some sightseeing, um, spend time with my man. It's going to be really, really nice. And so I really don't feel like I have to have a lot of luggage space. And yeah, I can't believe I was able to make everything fit. So 
The only things I haven't packed so far is the perfumes. I might just choose one of these instead of both, or I might just take it and give all the clothes in the bag a little bit of a mist so that when I get there, it already smells like my perfume and I don't have to actually pack perfume, which is a hack that I've done before and I've told you guys about it. And honestly, it works like a charm. So let me go ahead and show you how I've managed to pack everything. So on this side, I have all of my clothes and my clutch. So this is my clutch, like I said, nice and flat, so it fits really nicely. And I also have a pair of shoes in there, tucked in there in a um, dust bag. And then I have my comfy shorts for wearing around the house. Um, I've got all of my outfits for the day. And what I did was I've rolled everything. I don't know what it is about rolling your clothes, you guys, but for some reason, when you roll your clothes, they just seem to fit better in the suitcase and you seem to be able to fit so much more in there rather than folding them and stacking them one on top of each other. So rolling your clothes is definitely a way to go. And honestly, if I wanted to, I could probably remove the green skirt or the champagne colored mini skirt because I have like six days worth of clothing options here and we're only going to be there for four full days that we're not traveling. So I still could remove an item if I really wanted to. I was asking myself, do I really think I'm going to wear the green one? I just, I like to have options, you know, and I like to be able to change my mind if I want. So, and then I just put my clutch on top of there. I also have my socks tucked away in here and that's it. And my dressy dresses for going out are laid flat on the bottom. So that's that side. And actually there's still room. If I really needed to, I could put one more thing in there if I really wanted to. This side's a little bit more haphazard. Let me warn you ahead of time. It's not really beautiful or anything, but everything fits and there's actually still room. So if I do happen to purchase a perfume or something when in there, I can stick it in here. So I have my makeup. I did manage to find a smaller container, a smaller like collapsible container to put my makeup in. So I think that's perfect. I have my flat sandals, my curling iron, my hair straightener, my toothbrush, um, my brushes and combs. To be fair, I probably don't have to bring this wide tooth comb. It's just that I'm really trying to be gentle with my hair. So I'm sure I'll end up washing my hair while I'm there. And I don't want to have to yank on my hair. I want something like gentle. So I think I probably should bring this. Although maybe I should invest in a small pick or something. And then I have my Louboutins sitting here in their dust bag. And then I have my bra, my underwear, and my nipple covers. So that is pretty much it. Everything fits. There's still room. Nothing is like destroyed while I'm traveling or anything. Honestly, this has been such a good suitcase. I've never broken anything. Knock on wood, I've never ruined anything or broken anything or had anything break open. And as you can see, there's still like lots of room. And when I close the suitcase, it's not gonna be like overly stuffed or anything. I still don't know if I need all these clothes, honestly. I could probably take out one of the skirts, but I'll still, I'll make my final decision about that like tomorrow morning before we leave. But that is about it. I'm pretty impressed with myself, to be honest, that everything fits in those two bags. So that's really about it, you guys. I'm actually super impressed with myself that I was able to fit everything in those two bags. I don't know why I was thinking I was going to need that one. Would it be nice to have that one? Yeah, but I probably don't need it. But if I decided that I wanted to bring it between myself and my man, like I said, we would still fit under the airway regulations or whatever, airline regulations. <laughs> I was going to call them airway because I work in healthcare. But yes, I'm pretty impressed. Let me know what you guys think. Do you have any tips or tricks? Is there anything that I could have done better in terms of packing and how do you pack your stuff? Um, I think that this is going to be just fine. And now I just have to make that final decision about my perfumes. The only downside about spraying all your stuff before you leave the house is what if you decide you don't like the way something smells and you get tired of it, you can't really switch it up the next day and wear something different but I do have a couple of different travel sizes. I might just go with my good old try tested and true Kali vanilla, spray everything with Kali vanilla and call it a day. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but looks like it's been a long, hard day of packing and deciding what to wear. My cat has decided that it's time to have a nap. Um, so I think we will call it good. So yeah, that was my little packing video. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I'm bringing with me and how I pack for a few days to a vacation, carry on only. 
And yeah, that's it. So that is it, you guys. That's everything I'm going to be bringing with me for my five-day trip, or I guess four to five-day trip, however you look at it, to LA with carry-on only, semi-minimalist, not bringing too much stuff. Hopefully you guys found this entertaining or helpful, or it gave you some ideas for what you might like to bring with you the next time you go on vacation. I hate checking luggage because there's always a risk you're going to lose your stuff. So this is just a really nice way to make sure that you're bringing everything that you need and you have some variety, but also being able to pack minimally. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.